three things I've always done wrong on YouTube and this might help you improve your videos. There's hours into filming your video, hours into editing your video, uploading your video and then you release it and why isn't it going anywhere? The last thing I've ever done is ever consider a thumbnail, a custom thumbnail. I've always uploaded a video and then chosen one of the three stills that YouTube has selected for me. Um, or I've took one photograph and I've used that. I've never considered the thumbnail before the video. This is the first one. This one I had an idea in my mind of what I wanted to portray. So you'll see a few stills of what I wanted to do. And then I went into paint. And then what I did was I did some outlines. And some, and it wasn't wide enough, so I did it a bit wider, and it still wasn't wide enough. So I've actually considered the thumbnail before I even shot the video. Okay, so this this is more of a concept than it would have been of a selected frame that I thought was the most suitable. So I've actually, you know, planned this out in a way. So this, let's just see how far it goes. So you can see there's a series of selected frames. There's me going around the outside with a little pixel pen, just framing that to create the custom thumbnail that I had in my mind to begin with. Not with a chaotic background behind me, I put a hessian backdrop up and then I took a selection of frames, stills, and then I've gone around it, as you can see, with a pixel pen. Now the other thing with YouTube is the entire time that I'm on camera talking to you, it's actually looking at every frame that's been shot and every emotion, every facial expression, every movement of my hands is all going into the, the YouTube brain and it's seeing whether or not it's, it's backing up, it's doubling down on what was going on with the thumbnail and what was going on with the title in the description. So you can tell why some talking head videos of ladies, they put makeup on, they're trying to accentuate emotions, facial expressions, uh, moods uh, and that in itself keeps firing the, the YouTube algorithm off so a lot of the times I could have been quite Jack Hargreaves um, a, a guy from the, the 70s who used to do fly fishing on ITV I think it was very knowledgeable knew his stuff could talk about fly fishing angling for hours and hours and hours not necessarily very, very animated but that sort of presentation on YouTube really won't fire off the YouTube algorithm very much because it's very static um, in the uh, the way that it is. There's no jump cuts and, and differences in Zoom. There's no jump cuts. There's very little pans. It's just camera and, and the guys talking. If you notice, a lot of people do presentations on every different nuance within their sentence. The the video will cut, jump, jump to another thing. They'll be cutting out all their ums and ahs and everything. Um, so this would be slightly more pacey than my average video would be, where I'd literally be talking to camera, talking to my subscribers, the people who tune in. You look at the data, 80% of the people tuning into the video, YouTube are trialing it. They're not subscribed. 80% of the people viewing the video are new people. 80% of those people don't know who I am and they're wondering why is he not got all the um, t the tricks of YouTube which is jump cuts, different things, b-roll and everything because my presentation has always been quite a non-scripted, no notes, heart to heart, campfire chat where you're doing it and that's, that's great in itself if you can actually guarantee that the algorithm's going to consider well the people who've subscribed to him are quite happy with the way that he's doing it and i'll just fire it all out to the 10 and 11 thousand subscribers that he's got it doesn't happen anymore some people could have a million subscribers and they're getting 200 000 views well it hasn't even got to the million subscribers has it okay the first three minutes that you're up you've got eight seconds to grab them and if your three minute video you're losing people in the first eight seconds because those majority of people that have tuned in are new. You've got to understand you're going to lose algorithm points, as it were, because the new people are looking at it going, well, what's going on here then? 
and with a TikTok society, the swipe attitude of everything now, a lot of the stuff's been on a mobile phone. This is not the 10 years ago viewer profile where I started out, where people would actually give you a chance to get to the point because you've done an introduction to yourself and all of a sudden you allow your skills, your experience to come through over the next few sentences. That ain't good enough anymore. It's just not going to catch it. And if you don't fire off that algorithm in the first eight seconds, if there's a drop off in the first eight to ten seconds, YouTube goes, oh, people aren't really warm into this. But that's because you've sent it to new people who don't know me yet. <laughs> Considering that it's new people, that's something I now need to know in order that my presentation is a little bit pacier at the beginning, appreciating the algorithm, appreciating uh, my presentation, the thumbnail, and the way that I try and hook you in that first eight seconds needs to be a lot more concentrated. Otherwise, YouTube algorithm goes, apparently this isn't quite as popular as before it was, and it won't even then go to the subscribers. So that's the second mistake I've always done. I've always thought, well, I've got 11,000 subscribers, roughly. Why isn't it this going to my 11,000 people who have subscribed to the way that I've done it in the past before? It won't even get to them. Thanks, YouTube. And the third mistake that I've done is, considering that I've got 2,000 videos now up, I've gone back over videos every now and again where I thought that the thumbnail previously chosen as a still was good enough. No, it's not. So any video that would have, would have died a death, I've gone back over. Um, so if you watch this now, I'll go back through an old video that had very little traction, and I'll just show you what I did, and it's breathed a new life into it. See, so that went back 365 days. And now if we go back to the since uploaded, that video has had nothing. Nothing since its initial launch where I had 300 views. And that's what I would normally get years and years ago, 2015, 2016. I get 300 views and then it would die. Nothing. I've redone the thumbnail and now it's perked up. Now, gradually, gradually over the time it might get slightly better, but that has proved the point on having a thumbnail that at least looks of what the title's going to be. Yeah? That was a dead video. Now it has a new lease of life. So there's three things I've been doing wrong on YouTube in the last 10 years. Um, hope these ideas might help you and your video presentation, your view count, your CTRA click-through rate, which is your thumbnails, um, and that first eight second hit. And then the other thing was videos you've already got. If they've died a death, you can resurrect them by doing a new thumbnail and a new description. It was already it was dull. It wasn't getting any views at all. So if you've breathed a new, a new bit of life into it, uh, it can only be better because then that video, you never know where the root of people's viewings um, will take that new video and, and lift it into different areas. So I hope you've got some help with that and some value from it. I mean, give us a like if please, because, you know, algorithms. But it's just a slightest insight into what I've been learning over the last few months this is the first three every now and again i'm going to do a three more um there's an absolute mountain of information uh, that i've picked up over the last six months it's a huge amount of information to take on in one go um the way that youtube worked in the past is doesn't really cut it anymore you can't think i've got five thousand subscribers i should be getting five thousand views it doesn't work like that at all now um, and that appreciation of this uh, initial hook, your thumbnail, 
and you need to build your momentum all over again. Um, so from this sort of point on, I'll be looking at doing more custom thumbnails. I'll be looking at trying to um, get the point across in the first eight to 10 seconds. Um, and as I'm going, I'm improving old videos uh, just to keep things ticking along. Other things, video releases per week, lighting, audio, and a ma all manner of other things that could be done, dealt with in the future. Uh, so I hope that's helped anybody out there. Scott with Six Blades out. So I'll leave you a few suggestions on what to watch next. And don't forget to subscribe and like. Scott with Six Blades out. Thanks for joining me. I hope that's helped.